a 45, 50 minute workout. Uh, I've also got this on the seconds timer. So I'm gonna work off that, see how that goes today. Um, I don't have any music built in, so you're welcome to play your own music in the background. But I also, I set up my, uh, my share on iTunes. So you can follow me on iTunes at Brian, B-R-I-A-N underscore, and then my last name, T-H-O-M-A-S-O-N, Thomason, T-H-O-M-A-S-O-N. So if you do that, you will get some playlists uh, today, TRX Workout 2. Um, but that's one option as far as the music goes. So we're going to get started here with the TRX Workout. And we're going to start with a alternating back lunge. So right here, taking it back and down. Let's see how that comes in. 10 seconds. Give yourself a turn here. Alternating forward lunge, arms going out, up, and down. That's P-I-M, alternating forward lunge. Every time you start, the arm should be straight out from the shoulders. If that's not happening, make an adjustment in your starting position. Little pause, just a little hold in the front. Gives you a little active stretch, 10 seconds. Reverse your turn, same direction in reverse. Overhead back extensions here. Fall from the hips, get that low back stretch. Push and pull, come up on the toes. The length I have it here, anywhere from that fully extended or the high calf position. Usually I use that high calf for the warm up. Little hold each position. Alternating figure fours, cross it over, sit down into it. Give me a little stretch. Again, just a little hold when you get to that bottom position, active stretch. Last one right here. Alternating hip hinge. Keep the legs straight, fold over until you find that hamstring stretch. Again, a little pause when you get there. You're trying to keep that lower leg straight or fairly straight through the knee so you can get that hamstring stretch. Otherwise, you're just working the quad. Yeah. Last one there. Walk it in so those hands are at the chest and then kind of fall back into a straight line position. Keep the arms straight, shoulder shrugs. So we're not rowing here, we're not changing the elbow. The elbow stays fairly straight. Maybe a little soft elbow bend if you want. Okay, what we're gonna to do today is face away for your overhead reach forward fold. So up here as high as you can get and then fold, hands come behind, little forward bend, alternate between the two. Right now we're keeping the legs fairly straight on the bend. Getting that air warmed up here, getting the lungs warmed up. Make sure you're inhaling and exhaling. All right, now you're gonna come back around and arm swings. That can be from the foot cradles or the handles. Twist, the stretch.
Last one here. All right. So this is a TRX sit circuit format. Feel free to get sneak a quick water, get yourself ready to go here. I've got my water and towel nearby. Um, for some of the floor movements, when we're on hands, if you need a little straighter wrist, then handles are a good thing to pick up. Uh, you can always use dumbbells, holding those dumbbells in those positions. Uh, what we're going to do today, actually, if you were with me live on Sunday, I think there was only a few people that were here live. It was didn't come through on the recording and stuff. That's one of the reasons we're not doing the music in the background anymore. So uh, it's up to you to supply the, the music. I've got the iTunes share list going. But um, this is going to be the same workout format I did on Sunday morning. Great workout format. But this time it will be able to be posted live, uh, posted for recorded workouts later. All right, so two circuits, an A circuit and a B circuit, two times around each, a little fit circuit format. So at the end of each circuit is a two-minute cardio jam. All right, so we're going to start by facing away, fully lengthen, and bring those all the way down. And we're going to bring those straps underneath the arms here, lean against the handles, and then dig in, deep angle, keep the heels up, and now we're going to come down and in. And now, about halfway through this set, you'll have the option to go a little faster if you like, or you can hop, tap, and back. If you're not feeling, if you're feeling constrained, make sure you move back a little further. Feet should be just a little wider than shoulders here. All right, so we're coming up on the halfway here. So if you want a little quicker pace, or hop, tap, and back. loading into that squat. Ease into that squat. All right. We're going to stay facing away. Keep that fully lengthened. And get into a chest press starting position here. You can go to basic chest press. If you have it, what I'd like to see you do today, feet together, narrow stance. That's level two. Lift the knee, hold, press out. Knee drive. Stay with that basic chest press if that's where you want. That's what you feel better at. Form is essential. If you can't take the form with you, then back up. Make the reverse progression. All right, let's hold this last one right here. A little hold, a little isometric, a little core. All right, so now what we're going to do is come back around, and I need you to come up to about mid-length. Tilt the clip, pull the tab. So that tab's about half the distance to the top. We're going to start here with some high rows. Feet about shoulder width. Come up to the top of the chest. And if you can, in the forward position, up, down, back, forward. Up, down, back, forward. That's high row with the shoulder press. If you're not comfortable on that shoulder press, then stay just exclusively with that high row. All right, we've got about 10 seconds here. Your feet set the resistance here. Anytime you move forward, you're making things harder. All right. Fully lengthen. Tilt and pull. Turn it around. And then walk out into your straight up overhead reach position. And now what we're going to do is alternating back lunge. Back and down. Back and down. Step. Okay, it's up to you how low you go. It's up to you how fast you go. Little pause at the bottom here. We want to stay heavy in that front heel. As soon as my back foot hits the floor, I drop the back knee. 
That front knee should end up over the ankle. All right, so now just back up a little bit here. What we're gonna do now is a little reachers, okay? So as we ease forward, one hand tucks, one hand reaches. Keep your shoulders and hips square to the front. You want harder, back up a little bit. Want a little easier, move forward a little bit. Those adjustments are small increments. Half inch, inch, that'll, you'll feel the difference. Keep it straight through the hip line, right through the waist. These are reachers, sometimes we call them burnies. Little hold in the front. Get a Mississippi or two there. All right, so now we're gonna come back around to face your anchor. Keep that fully lengthened strap. Split arm, reverse fly. One hand high, one hand low, palms are forward. Fall back slow, turn them around, pull them apart. So my feet are about shoulder width and they're parallel. If that's a little too tough of an exercise, back things up a little bit, go to an offset stance. So one foot behind you, back foot stays flat, back knee bends to assist the movement, control the movement. Split arm, reverse fly. Okay, we got our two minute cardio jam coming up next. Muscle up hops and a forearm plank. The idea is to kind of push the reps in that 30 seconds. All right. So we're gonna keep that fully lengthened position. If you don't wanna go muscle ups, you could do kind of a little squat row hop. And if you don't want to do the hop, then just work the tempo a little bit more. So we got 15 seconds to the start. 10 seconds. So we're going all the way down, all the way up with a hop. If you got it, three, two, one, go. So we'll do this for 30 seconds. And then we're going to hit the floor for a center plank, forearm plank not using the TRX. <clears throat> Got 10 here. All right, quick transition because the timer doesn't stop. Center plank, forward plank. Shouldn't take you more than five seconds max to make your transitions. Tighten the hips. Three, two. All right, let's look one more time on those two. Hit it. How quick can you transition? Ideally, touch the floor, get off the floor. Blanket. All right, this will finish our first circuit. First round. Ten seconds. And you got one minute recovery. All right, maybe a little child pose here. Good job, guys. All right, that's the A circuit round one. We can keep that fully lengthened. Take a quick water towel. Hey guys, I don't have 
the ability to kind of get in on a computer and check chats and stuff. So if you do have feedback during the workout, something's not working, no sound, uh, something, something that's similar, something simple that you know is on my end, are you pretty sure? Shoot me a quick text, 650-248-2731, 650-248-2731. So you can shoot me a quick text if you have my number. All right, let's get ready for that A circuit one more time. Fully lengthen, facing away. You're on the handles here. Dig in. Here we go. So about 45 seconds on the set time. You get a hop early if you want to go tempo or hops. Otherwise, I'm looking for that option to kick in at the halfway. Try getting back just an inch or two deeper if you can. A lot of times you'll feel a little more comfortable further back. All right, we're halfway. So you can go a little quicker tempo. Hops if you got it. Hop, tap, and back. Hop, tap, and back. So when I'm hopping, I'm just getting out there about another six inches maybe, three to six. I'm just tapping and then coming right back. All right. Bring those handles out and around. Chest press basic or chest press knee drive. Here we go. You lose that base of support. You're gonna come a little bit more tension into the muscle groups involved. And you're gonna bring in some core. More core, I should say. Try to get that exhale on the press. Ease in. Little stop when you get there. All right, let's make this one your last one. Hold it here. If that's tough, just put that foot down. All right, so now we gotta go to mid length. Turn. Tilt the clip, pull the tab. Get it about halfway up. If your straps have the gray, you're just getting to that halfway mark where the gray begins. Move in, heels. Shoulder, high row, shoulder press combo if you got it. Back, forward, up, down. Move into challenge. Stay with that. Fifteen seconds here. Remember, you can always fall back and just do the high row if you like. Keep it straight through the hips. Your feet are flat only if you need it for kind of traction or friction. All right, pulling lengthen. Tilt the clips, pull them both down, same time. Bring it around. Walk it out to an overhead reach. And this is our alternating back lunge. Keep those arms straight and long. Here we go. Again, keep reaching through those fingers. Reach up. Long arms. It's a leg exercise, but this is good mobility through your shoulders that you're working here. That's that knee straight up right there. All right, last one. Back it up. Almost like I'm doing chest press again. Reachers, tuck and reach. One hand does a chest press or a sort of chest press here. The other hand just reaching straight up. Straight body line. Take the hips with you. Let the heels come off the floor. Too easy? Move back. If you're signing yourself able to do, hey, I, I really could do at least three to five more reps when we're switching. Well, 
should be working a little bit harder. Ideally, only a rep to maybe three. You want fatigue. You know, anything's going to be beneficial. Uh, this is all new for you. That's all right. Kind of go through the motion, just get a little fatigue. You'll get the benefits. All right, let's come around to face anchor. Split arm reverse fly coming up. One hand high, one hand low. Keep the wrist solid. Offset stance or parallel. Fall back slow. Turn it around. Pull them apart. <clears throat> Split arm reverse flies. Finish this and we're getting ready for our two minute jam. This is circuit A. I'm letting those toes peel off the floor as they come back. Because if I keep them flat, I'm going to end up with more arch in the back versus keeping those heels and letting the toes come up. Good. The length is fine, fully lengthened. Modify. If you weren't comfortable with muscle up hops, then do just a little squat row or just do some squat jumps. If you're not comfortable on the hops, do some rapid, rapid squats as an alternative, okay? On muscle ups, arms stir up to your side. Ideally, you're far enough in that you can touch the floor and then get off the floor. We got about five seconds here. You ready? Three, two, one. Two minute jam. If you want harder, move in a little bit. I'll give you more tries to finish or just go a little faster. Easier, back up, or slow down. Two, one. All right, let's go plank down. Without the TRX, nice and solid. Keep the neck parallel to the floor. Don't drop the head. Don't lift the head. Neutral. All right, let's go. Muscle up pops, round two. Let's finish off the A circuit right here, right now. Legs, row, tricep. Plank it. Ten seconds. Two, one, all right. Got a little minute here, child pose if you like. Doing good guys. One off, one down, one to go. B circuit coming up. That fully lengthened strap, that'd be good to start the next one. You can wait a second if you need to, got time. So, you're gonna kinda cheat to one side here. You want the hands to be close if you wanna drop low, okay? Fully lengthen if you're not over there. So don't start yet. It's a side step, drop, and you're going to stay to the same side. Side step, drop, stay to the same side. 
go shallower or slow down if you need easier. All right, ready? Pick a side. Here we go. Step, drop. Step, drop. I'm letting that tail leg stay straight and letting the toe come up. Letting the arms lengthen. This is getting into that Cossack stretch. If you're familiar with that stretch or pose. 10 seconds. You can come all the way to the floor if you want. Use the row to get back up. Okay, now you're gonna move to the other side. Here we go. All right, three, two, one. Let that trail leg stay straight. Fifteen. We got some wide flies coming up next to the front and to the back. Last one. All right, now we're gonna turn the face away. We're still fully lengthened. This is gonna be a wide fly. Feet about shoulder width. You're gonna be reaching to the Y here, okay? Not the I, not the T, split the difference. Come down just arm shoulder height. In and hold, here we go. In and hold, just shoulder height. Want harder, back up a little bit. Small increments. And it's a little better to have the feet apart about shoulder width. Yes, it's harder together. That's a little tougher on the back. But I'd rather you adjust moving forward and back to that difficulty rather than take away from that basic support. Of course, if you're advanced, hardcore, bring them together or even go to a single foot. Hold the last one. We've got to turn to face anchor. And now we're going to measure out a Y. Reverse fly to the Y. Okay, parallel or offset stance. Here we go. Fall back, pull forward. Keep those wrists straight, nice and solid. You want a little more advanced here, you can go to a single leg. Fifteen seconds. Keep it straight through the hips, so don't let your hips break. One more time. All right, high calf, we're getting ready for a side plank. For me, I have to bring them up pretty high. The handle at the high calf, okay? So toes in, face down, we got 15 seconds. You do not have to be in the straps here. So we're gonna go from the side. Five seconds, then you're gonna come up. Doesn't matter what side you're on right now. Keep the hip nice and up. Use that top hand if you need it. Too tough, come on out. Slide the feet out, put them on the floor. You can add difficulty, bend and straighten that top knee or just keep it bent. All right, face down to make your switch. Go into the other side, get to the other forearm, five seconds. Three, two, one. These are 35 seconds each.
15. So maybe I'm going to bring in that knee tuck. Three, two, one. Okay, stay down, stay in. We're going to go from the hands here, TRX crunch. Bring the knees wide as they come forward and bring the legs together behind you. From the hands, three, two, one. All these frog kicks, froggies. So, now if you want harder, lift the hips as you bend the knees. Three, two, one. All right, so now we got some push ups. And if you can, push up alternating with that hip lift. Otherwise, just focus on push ups. All right, here we go. Push up. Pike. Four, three, two, one. All right, now, facing anchor, mid length, getting ready for a cardio jam. Get a little water towel, and then you should be at mid length facing. Hold on. Okay. So what we're going to do here, 15 seconds each, bent knee, bent forms, muscle up pops if you need to, quick lunge, ready, and go. We're going to do both sides and then do an underhand row. Switch. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now step in, palms stay up, and give me a quick pace, underhand row. Push it, but stay within your feel. Too tough, back it up. Slow it down. Three, two, one. Single leg hops. One more time each. Stop, switch legs. Here we go. Underhand row. Oh, that's a mistake. Underhand row, push it. Come on. Come on, work it. You got a minute rest coming up. Pick up the pace. Five. Two. One. All right. Okay, you got one minute rest. And then we're going to be back full, fully lengthened when we come back. Good job, guys. Three quarter. One more quarter to go. The B circuit. One more time. We're going through the circuit. You can kind of hit the record and think about adjustments you're going to make on the next time around, right? You don't have to memorize the exercises or the order, but try to keep in your mind, next time I do this, I think I can work a little harder. I think I can try the hops on the sidestep lunge. Yeah, I think I can move in a little closer and 
challenge myself getting down a little deeper, okay? Make sure you're fully lengthened. Take a way to go. Give yourself space. We're gonna step and drop. Seven seconds. Hands at the chest if you want that low drop. Ready? And go. Step, drop, return. When you return, you can step on the floor or just bring that knee up. I got about 10 seconds. Need a little more rest? Stop early. Just keep it even on these singles, both sides. Okay? We got 10 seconds to set up the other side. If you're going to the right, now you're going to the left. Three, two, one. Team. You got your Y flies coming up next. Last one. All right, we're going to face away. It's going to be Y flies to the front, feet about shoulder width. When you're ready, let's go. All right, here we go. Don't be afraid to start early, finish late, get what you need. Sometimes a little harder, you jump in and start those planks or the exercises earlier. Need to back up a little bit, start them later, finish them earlier. This is actually a little more challenging on the foot cradles if you want to add intensity, foot cradles. That's gonna make it a little harder. Just like going to the TRX, but unstable makes it harder. Well, the straps are more unstable than the handle. Hold it. Three, two, one. Come back to the handles if you did that. Reverse your turn. Reverse fly to the Y. I'm gonna do offset stance just so you can see it again. One foot behind, I can change that back leg. Y. Falling back, keeping the hips up, wide fly. And let the toes come up, the heel stays in the front. That front leg stays straight. Now after this, we're gonna be going to the high calf length. And we're getting ready for a side plank. Long arms. Got about 10 seconds here. Last one. All right, let's do it. So get your height at the high calf position. By now you should have an idea where those tabs need to be in order to get the handle to fall to the high calf. You can do a kneeling entry one strap at a time. Now I did post on my YouTube channel an intro to TRX, the basics at home. Uh, it's about a 15 minute video. So check it out if you want some extra emphasis. Ready? Bring it up. The further you are from your anchor, and if you're on a door or a wall, further you are from the wall or the door, the harder it is. You're adding tension to that strap. It's pulling you. 15. And stop. Face down to turn to the other side. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 
the 35 plank. So if you need the extra five seconds, either to rest or get set up, use it. Fifteen. Five. Three, two, one. Face down. This is going to be your TRX crunch frog kick. So you're going wide forward, legs together on the back end. And if you want advanced, lift the hips as you bend the knees. Three, two, one. You're hitting the wall, then move your hands forward a little bit. A little pause in the front. Three, two, one. Push-ups and a push-up pike combo if you've got it, okay? Level one is gonna have those knees on the floor. Two, one for 20 seconds. Two, one. Okay, come on out. Quick water towel, 30 seconds. And then we need to be at mid length. That's it, guys. Two minute cardio jam coming up. Single leg lunge hops, underhand row. All right, so if you're not there, get there. Mid length. Eight seconds. Single lunge, hop. 15 seconds, three seconds switch, and go. So knees, that working knee, or the knee that's moving, and both elbows stay right around 90. Two, one. Now we're switching here. Three, two, one. A quick pace, underhand row coming up next. Three, two, one. Step in, quick pace. Arms are up. Fifteen. We got one more round. Finish line. Then we'll do a couple of stretches. Five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Go right to it. Doesn't matter the order. As long as you get them both. I'll make sure you get them both. How much also you're, how fast and how low you're bending. Stop there. Switching legs. Three, two, one. So bend that lower knee a little bit each time you land. Don't keep it straight. Two, one. Underhand row. Palms up. Quick pace. Take it to the finish line right here. Last exercise. Ten seconds, gang. Come on. Just a little faster. Finish it. Three, two, one. All right. You guys, get a quick water. Just like I'm at the high calf for the warm up, I'm at the high calf for the cool down stretch. Aces, great job guys. All right, let's start with a figure four stretch. 
cross one, one leg over the other, sit down into it. We added a class this week, tomorrow, TRX Yoga, 8 o'clock start time, if you're with us, to go live. Switch, figure four, by keeping that knee over the ankle, but if you can, get to a point where you can let the arms lengthen out. Keep that chest up, don't collapse, keep that chin up. All right, grab your straps here if you like. Quad stretch on one side. And then a little lean and a little lift. And switch, start with the quad. All right, a little lean and lift. Nicely done. On the handles, right foot forward, left foot turned out a little bit behind you with the legs and arms straight, fold. Looking for a hamstring. Come back tall, lift those shoulders, switch the leg position front to back. Again, arms and legs are straight, fold. This should take the hands down the same height, just above the ankle, lower shin bone. Move forward or back if you're not there. Feel that hamstring. That front knee should be fairly straight, just a little softness, not much. All right, step forward and stand tall. Back it up, feet about shoulder width, maybe a little wider. Fall from the hips, arms and legs straight. Lower back stretch here. Bend the left knee and look underneath the right arm. Twist. And come back to center. Bend the right knee. Turn the upper body. Look underneath the left arm. Okay, come back to center. Push those hips forward. Let's turn it around. Left foot forward, right leg back. T stretch. So you want to be far enough here. You can ease that front knee forward and get a good chest stretch, but at the same time, my back heel is on the floor for calf. Back that front knee up and give it a little windmill twist to the front leg side. My left leg's forward, I'm turning left. Left arm down, right hand up. Okay, come back to center and switch the legs. stretch chest and calf back the knee up windmill twist to hold and then front ease ease the front knee forward again right, bring the legs together and give me a little forward bend trying to keep that leg straight fairly straight and then bend the knees and round, roll, and now straight down, nice and tall. Great job, guys, and thank you for joining me live. It's always better than the recorded version, but I'm glad to have you either way. If you guys want to stick around for a minute or two, get a little feedback, I'd appreciate it.